Yo, what is good? So, in this video, we are going to be going over and reviewing Great Bitch Pound Odd uh, trade that I did take for two entries. So, the reason why I took this trade, right? Starting off, we are going to bring up the context for this trade in terms of fundamentals. From the fundamental perspective, we have the pound not struggling with inflation, and their inflation was overall going down. Um, so they are today was their uh on the Thursday, my bad was their interest rate decision. Um, and they kept interest rates the same because there was no need for a rate rate hike, um, due to the fact that they were not struggling with inflation. So pretty soon here, if not today, I have to kind of uh, look out for that probably on the um session recap and a few bank reports, but uh essentially they kept interest rates the same, which shows speculation for a rate cut rate cuts are negative for a currency uh so meanwhile the australian dollar um is in the opposite situation where they are actually um dealing with heavy and persistent inflation and they're going to need to do rate hikes rate hikes are positive for a currency so that means the uh pounds going down due to good inflation numbers and they're going to do rate cuts which is going to bring their currency down and the australian dollar is going to need to likely do rate hikes at their next meeting which is positive for a currency we have one going down one going up the pound falls to the odd right so initially i was doing some analysis and um i can show you that interest rate decision real quick of them keeping interest rates the same that was Thursday, May 9th. They did keep interest rates the same. And uh, this is what they were last time. This is what analysts expected. And this is what came out. So they did not raise interest rates. And uh, basically, the context for that was what I just discussed. So zooming in, I did see this daily imbalance right here. Um, that's from this candle's low right here to this candle's high right here, which would be this bearish candle's high. Inbounce there, it was filled. Um, dropped down to the 1H. Um, price did. Um, I did anticipate the news coming out at seven o'clock in the morning around bouts. Watch this real quick. Um, and I expected some volatility to the downside as that news came out with the context of them getting ready to, to announce rate cuts. Right. So, with that being said, um, uh, at about it's out of the way, at about well, so right pretty much exactly at 7 a.m. I did enter on um this bearish candle right here. Um essentially the second it started, I waited for the news to come out as soon as 7 a.m. hit. I uh it was like 650 that I called the trade, I would say. <laughs> wrong time frames. <laughs> wrong time frame. Um so this is the about 7 a.m. I executed it on this candle right here. Let me in for you guys. From the daily imbalance, I executed on this candle right here. Uh, it was getting ready to close bearish price. You know, had a little bit of a uh, little went up a little bit with respect to this order block right here. And keep in mind, the dotted line is the daily imbalance that I was referring to. So as I have a higher time frame context as well. Uh, and then price juice came out at about seven, and this candle was responsible for that. Took out the sell side here. Took out the sell side here. Right, the orange lines are prime market terminal levels. Apologies. The orange levels are uh prime market terminal predicted levels as well for added con text and confluence, but um pound interest rate decision stays the same, opening up the likelihood for rate cuts soon. And it dropped as well a couple of hours later. Um this is for six percent first entry. Um that was the market execution, and then I set a sell limit right here on this last bullish candle before the breakdown here of this sell side liquidity or this swing well. Well, price retraced, came up, I triggered it about right here on this candle. Um, and then it, it came out and took out some extra buy side right here. So it was a smaller bit of drawdown. That's okay. Uh, it essentially just kind of filled more of this imbalance and took just a bit more buy side. And then uh, as the market closed, price is pretty much at break even for entry two. And entry one is about, I don't know, half a percent or so in profit. So long term, I do expect price to continue to drop because of the things mentioned earlier in terms of fundamentals. Oh, we also had retailers majority uh majority uh majority buying this pair as well. 
and seasonality typically for this period at this time of the year historically it has been bearish so it's about 12 percent i was targeting the negative 1.5 standard de deviation level at 186 250 so um that's great but it's kind of odd pretty easy um if we're adding a little bit more confluence we had the uh 50 which is black and then the 21 ama ema um which is um, the blue one and we had the cross happen price was trading below that and we also had the break of this prime market term up to the level as well right here at 191.000. That also happens to be a psychological level. So uh, I expect the price to continue down from there at the one hour imbalance. Again, the sell side liquidity show, showing that they were going lower. Plus the, new, like the news as well that came out right here that causes volatility. But as well as Thursday going over into Friday, I didn't expect a ton of volatility, but I expected to at least be able to get into both entries so that when next week resumed, the fundamentals resumed, and we kept going to the downside in order to hit my target, which my lowest target is 186.87, and this is for 12% gain. And we both do have a trailing stop loss right here as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, That's how you kind of incorporate data and fundamentals and stuff like that into your strategy and increase the likelihood that you will be correct on the trade, right? So, and then we also have a swing failure right here, um, which would be, that would be a strong high as well right here. Um, with a swing failure, they tried to come up and take some buy side right here, um, but they ended up being unsuccessful, right? And then this is after double manipulation right here. So they obviously are continuing down right here as they've shown. So that's it for this video, guys. If you got value out of it, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, uh, I have some links down below, below to be able to get uh fifteen percent off prime market terminal, as well as my signals and my education and all of my socials. So follow your boy. See you guys later. Just trying to end. Actually, stop.